Hello there. Inside this box is a bust of George Washington that I purchased from the shops at Mount Vernon. It's run by the Mount Vernon Ladies Association, which was established in 17, I'm sorry, 1858. And they are the ones that preserve Mount Vernon. It's not a National Parks Service. Uh, they don't run it. It's not a U.S. National Park Service property. It's the Mount Vernon Ladies Association that run it. And they've done it ever since then. And there's some stuff in there. This bust by Washington was uh, made by a gentleman named Jean Houtouant. Jean-Antoine Houdon, and uh, he was a sculpture, sculptor, okay, let's see here, and uh, he did a lot of famous people, he, um, he uh, sculpted Ben Franklin, Voltaire, uh, Thomas Jefferson, very famous guy. Ah, all right, thanks a lot, guys. This thing is heavy. All right, and so anyways, in 1785, he took a trip to Mount Vernon. Washington was famous at that time, and he spent a week there observing Washington and made this bust. The bust has been at Mount Vernon ever since 1785. It's never moved. And uh, the, <laughs> a lot more here there. Um, the Mount Vernon Ladies Association have kept it there the whole time. They've never moved it. All right, okay. Dudes. All right, we're going to do this. Now, luckily, I'm wearing these boots, so it gives me a little bit of height, and I'm able to, to do this. I knew this was going to happen, so if I was not wearing heels, I would not be able to uh, properly execute these maneuvers. Okay. All right. I only ordered this, let me see, it was last Friday, so. All right, it's gonna be upside down here, so. All right. Okay, this is super heavy. Well, not super heavy, but it's no, nothing light. Okay. It's made out of some kind of composite. I don't, I do not know. Resin, resin composite. Ha ha, there we go. There's the man himself. First in war, first in peace. First in the hearts of his countrymen. And second to none in the humble and serene pleasures of private life. Pious, just, humane, sincere and temperate, uniform, dignified and commanding. He was edifying to all in his presence. <laughs> That's a famous quote. That's the whole quote itself by uh, General Light Horse Harry Lee, who was a famous uh, cavalry commander, um, uh, hero of the Revolutionary War, who just happened to be General Lee's father. But a little history lesson there. So here he is. This is uh, George Washington 
in all its full glory. If you could see that. So, uh, good luck to the Mount Vernon Ladies Association for many years of, uh, of uh, historic remembrance of George Washington. I'm going to actually probably go back to Mount Vernon. I've been there a few times, so I'll probably go back there in July again. So, um, here we go. Very nice. And this will sit somewhere in my house. So, thank you for watching, everybody.